Hey, Margie here. Did you know that by plugging into spirit and adding some energy practices into your life, you can dramatically change your overall health and improve your bones? Well, today, that's what we're going to be talking about with our very special guest, Kathy Pickett. And Kathy is an author, speaker, certified healing touch practitioner, registered nurse, mentor, and energy healer extraordinaire. She has transformed lives as a healing energy practitioner and lecturer at Canyon Ranch Wellness Resort and in her private practice. And Kathy is someone I have gone to for sessions, as well as members of my family and other people in my community. And she's just extremely talented. But in today's episode, Kathy's going to discuss how both energy work and plugging into spirit can help our bones and overall health. And she walks us through a fabulous, easy energy practice to nourish and strengthen our bones. So, so excited about this episode. Stay tuned. Welcome, Kathy, to the podcast. I'm really excited that you're here with me. This topic is just so important and so life-changing that I just can't even wait to hear what you said say today. So welcome. Thank you so much, Margie, for having me and for everyone that's listening. It's, an, it's really an honor to be here. And I can feel the connection already happening with, with folks out there that are that are listening. So that's that feels very grounding to me. So I just, before we even get started, I love to hear the backstory, but I just want to share how we met because it's sort of a funny story. And so years ago, I mean, this is, what it could be five years ago. It's really quite a long time ago. And um, my uncle had passed away and my daughter and I thought, what could we do fun for my aunt? And we thought, let's go to a spa. And so we took my aunt and then a few other members of the family. We all decided to go to the spa in the Berkshires. And my sister-in-law, who's a physician, injured her back. So she couldn't do a lot of the exercises and, you know, a lot of the programs. So someone said to her, I don't even know the class it was called, or it was a, it was a treatment that you were giving. They said, do this, whatever the name was, this treatment. She comes back and she said, oh my God, that was the Mo, she got so much out of it and she learned so much. It was like a combination of whatever you did, spiritual, but you worked on her and energy work. And she said, I've never in my life had anything quite like that. So of course we all wanted to book, but you were completely booked up. We couldn't get in. So the following year, the first thing we all booked was the treatment plan, With was the treatment with you. And she was right. It was incredible. And so that's how we first met. And then since then, you know, you've been doing remote work. You've really helped. You've helped me. I've had sessions with you. My daughter has had sessions. People in the family have had sessions. And so, and you've been on the podcast before, but your work is just so transformative. And there's so much more to life and to healing than so many of us know. So when we connect to this other piece, which you're going to share with us, this energy healing piece and spiritual piece, life really changes. So that's that's how we've met. So it's been many years and I'm always so grateful for everything you do. And that's why I'm so happy to have you here and share this with my community because this is very powerful. So why don't you just tell us from your perspective how you got into this work? Yeah. So it's interesting, you know, all life is evolving and expanding. We're always learning. We're There's always more opportunities to learn. I was connected with light beings um, very early. I wasn't even four years old, had a near death dr drowning experience. And so I was connected with angels, maybe light beings, deceased loved ones. So I was very familiar with that pattern in and out of my life. You know, they were around and I was comfortable with them. When I became a nurse and end of life transitions, um, I started as a pediatric nurse. And I was surprised that children at the end of life that the souls would come forward and deceased relatives would come to support them. And so I was communicating with souls around the end of life. And I did a lot, every time somebody was dying, all these souls would come and communicate with me. And I would share messages with families that were ready and open to hear this. This was in the late seventies. And so in nursing, it really came alive at the end of life for me. And then I decided um, that I would learn energy medicine in the 90s and just check that out and see what that was all about. 
So I learned with energy medicine is that we are, energy flows through our body. And so I could detect blockages and I could move the energy. And I was surprised when I was first in it. I was, wow, this really is something. This really works. I was really like, please. And so I carried on from the 90s into like the like 2015, doing work, end of life, chronic disease, acute illnesses, all around the physical woes and diseases of the body. But when I was working with these folks in transition, I realized if we did these practices, we might not get as sick. So I learned to do this work for preventive health. So I went to this health and wellness resort and I worked on an integrative medical team for five years so that I could be part of the preventive health so that people would maybe not get sick or stay healthy in some way. And then when COVID came, there was a lot of disruption in that work. And I started doing a lot of virtual work online. And I soon learned that I could communicate as easily at a distance as I could in person. And that I could communicate with the souls of the living similar as I could communicate with the souls of deceased. Light is light, it's frequency, and I could learn to interpret it. So I used my intuition, clairvoyance, mediumship, to work with individuals so that they could stay healthy and get healthier. And one thing I learned, so many people would come to me with financial problems, divorce, relationship problems, children, substance abuse, all of the things, all of the reasons that people would come to me. And I realized that there was a disconnect from their soul, that the connection to the soul was the key. Somebody would come and say, everything is wrong. And I know they weren't connected to the soul. So my work is really focused on connecting individuals to their spirit, understanding why they came to earth, what their purpose is. So it's more of a soul journey. My work now, it's very much a spiritual journey in, in working with people. So it's been quite a journey. And when people hear me speak, and you all will hear me speak about spirit and all of that, and you may be familiar, it may be unfamiliar, but I just want you to sit with it and see what comes up for you and take what makes sense and let the rest go for now. Because if I told myself everything I know now, 20 years ago, I might not believe it either. So I'm just saying, keep an open mind and we'll see, we'll see what happens. You know, that's so interesting that you're saying that because I, as a physical therapist, I've always been a spiritual person and had practices in terms of, you know, just connecting to this universal energy, whatever people call it. But I never shared that with patients for a long time because I thought, oh, they're going to think, you know, I just didn't think that's what they wanted or needed. And then I started and people were so open. And that's when I started seeing when they started adopting these practices, miracles started happening. And it's just, it's just incredible. So it's been something that now I do in my happiness class. I have a whole entire module on plugging into spirit and things we can do. And it's something that's so much a part of my life, but it's been exciting as a physical therapist and health coach when I work with others and they start, they start integrating this into their life, what happens? So it's very powerful. So I agree with you. Just listen. Don't try to analyze. Don't try to do anything. Kathy's going to show you some practices later and you can see how that, you know, just try it and you'll, you'll see what happens. So let's, this is a podcast that we do spend a lot of time about bone health. And a lot of people have issues with their bones, whether it's osteoporosis or they're preventing it, or they just, you know, for strong, healthy bones. So how can the spiritual journey relate to our bones? So it's so interesting. Have you ever said, I feel it in my bones? Like yes. something's going on, I can feel it. And it's not just the cold weather or things, but it's people feel in their bones. The bones are the most dense part of this physical body that holds our spirit and earth for this experience. And the bones hold the connection to our spirit. Life force runs through the bones. The blood forms in the bone. The bones hold, right? All the minerals. And this life force runs through the bones. Without the bones, we couldn't function. We couldn't walk. We couldn't move. Our spiritual journey would not work. So the spirit is more connected to the bones than any other organ or part of the body uh, in the way that we connect to our ancestors. Our spirit resides in the heart center, but the bones carry this life force that's been with us. 
And when we talk about all our experiences on this life, if you have any idea that this life ends and we go to another existence and leave this earth body, and we came into this earth body, all of that information is connected through the bones and the earth. So bones are very much aligned with spirit and our ancestors. So the bones, when we connect deeply with Mother Earth into the core of the earth, the bones are nourished through this invisible wave of energy from Mother Earth that comes up into our bones. When people feel grounded, and they feel connected to the earth, the energy is flowing freely through them. And lots of times bone issues, the body speaks to us. Every organ of the body, every everything speaks to us in energy medicine. There's something very consistent that we find in everybody when it comes to the body parts. The bones connect us to our purpose on earth. That's our spirit. Why are we here? And so for bone health to be really strong, it's our strength. I know where I am. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. I have the strength to do it. I can't carry the weight of anything if I didn't have my bones to hold me. So that is so connected and so integral to spirit. Shamans over centuries, thousands of years, healers around the world, they use bones because bones hold the energy of the ancestors and they know everything about us. And they, they exist after we leave this earth plane. The bones can live, as we know, for thousands of years if they're in an environment. So the bones are the structure of this experience on earth that connects us to all experiences beyond and before this earth. So the bones, when we have some disintegration in the bone or some weakening in the bone, many times it indicates a lack of connection to that purpose. So that, and that grounding to the earth, it, feeling lost or feeling abandoned. You, you, you're very familiar with bone health way more than I am, but there's this shift that happens in women after they hit a certain age in the hormone shift. And so there's a change that happens in the bone. So many times women are looking for what their purpose is, where are they going next? And they're not sure. You know, I have many clients that don't know where they want to live. They're so ungrounded and un they're not connected to earth in a very structured way and they feel lost. And so that will end up in the bones, in the bones, because the bones is what it's carrying us through this life. That's, that's where that disruption will be. So I'll see that in the bones many times. So just to put this together, so what you're saying is that when people don't have a purpose and when they don't feel connected and they feel sort of lost, you can actually lose, your bones can actually weaken and it actually causes structural damage. So one of the treatments from your perspective, because you look at things as an energy body, from your perspective then is, yes, of course, you're going to do all the other good things, but you need to address this piece of purpose, et cetera. Is that, did I understand Absolutely. that properly? Absolutely. In fact, with the work that I do now is connecting people to their souls and their understanding of who they are, why they came, how to nourish themselves. When you're fully connected with that light within you, and I see the inner being as a light, that's part of source, universal consciousness. We're all connected. We're all one in that sphere of light. You can imagine being the, the universe is so large and we're this, this light. When we're connected to that light and we expand that light within our body, we are naturally opening all the energetic channels in our entire body. So it's not just about the bones, but it's for all, all health and well-being is to be connected to who we are and then living who we are. So that disconnect will end up in the bones, but it will end up in other things too. And for preventive health, it's about being connected to who you are and shining your light in the world. And one of the things I hear so, so often is people, they're giving to the world all the time and they're not always nourishing themselves in a way where they feel complete and present. And that is what nourishes the bones, is because the bones represent our spirit. And we cannot energize the bones without being connected to our spirit. You know, we have to plug in and get charged sometimes. And the way we get charged, we be with people we love. We remember a sunset. We fill our hearts with the energy of the earth. 
all of that builds our light and it's available to us. The beautiful flowers, the dahlias, the, the, the lilies, all of that beauty, we take in that beauty, it's life force. When we take in life force, it enhances our life force and hence, hence in the bones as well. Oh, I love that. Plus you feel so much, you feel so much better when you do these practices. When, you know, it, it, in the morning I start right away with energy work. So you know what? I do. Why don't we, if this works with you, why don't we like to do an energy technique together so people can get an experience, maybe one that can heal and strengthen the bones? So what I would like to do is do the experience of igniting that light within and creating this wonderful, vibrant light within all of us, intentionally sending it through the bones and the earth. But then what I'd like to do is, once we've gathered all that life force, is to use that life force for healing. And we can use that life force for healing the world and the earth. You know, one soul that's connected to the love within their hearts is more powerful than a million souls that are asleep and are not connected to that light. Because when we're connected to that light, we're connected to universal light. So when we do this exercise, if everyone is willing, that we will build our light so that we can send it to the world. We know there are things happening in the world today that have happened since man has been around. These horrible things. And how do we live with these things in the world? When there's, we can do nothing about them, We feel helpless. So when we feel helpless, our energy goes down. If we see things that are disruptive to our beliefs and we send anything other than love out, then we add to the hate and the anger in the world. So when we see, and because of what's happening in the world today, although it's happening all around the world, it's not specific to one location, I really think that because there's so many of us together today, that we can use this power to bring healing to the world. And I know that it's real and I know that it happens. I believe it with every fiber of my being that when we do this work together, that we can bring healing to the world. And I believe that love is what will bring healing to the world. And you know, when we see things that are disruptive, Margie, and we can still hold love in our hearts, we win. That's how we win. We can still hold love in our hearts, even when what we see is egregious around us. Yeah, that's that's so beautiful. And I, I love the fact that you're going to do that because it's a very, very tough time. And it's so hard. The atrocities are just beyond. Like, never thought something like this could happen in our lifetime. And, you know, it's very hard to go on with your day-to-day when you're confronted with with what's going on. So any techniques that we can still send out love and healing to the world, which is so needed in addition to helping ourselves so we maintain our own health, Um, not to belittle anything that's going on, but just to send positivity and love, I think so, so beautiful. Yeah, it's it's one of the reasons I think when we see the disruption in the world, it's, it's a call, it's a cry from humanity for us to come together. And... And the only way we can come together is in love, because anything other than love will, will just continue on the path that we don't want. So this is humanity is being called together at this time, as it is with every every event that pulls us apart, and there's many, and they're happening. Okay. Happen- so, so we've so, let, so let's get started party. with our bones. So 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 this is going to help our bones. It's going to help our spirit. So the bones are are spirits are connected. The bones are connected to our ancestors. So the bones are connected to this wonderful world of energy beyond this 3D world that we see. So as we go through this thing, this exercise with the bones, know you are connecting beyond your physical body to a larger universe and a larger resource of love and light. That's what makes this powerful is knowing that that is happening right now. So are you ready to? I am ready. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So there's this phrase that I use um, in every session um, with everyone, every class, and it's this breath 
is for me. So if you're sitting comfortably in a chair and you're well supported or however you are, if you can just close your eyes or gaze down so that you're not distracted by any surroundings, anything happening around you. And if you can say to yourself, this breath is for me. This breath is for my divine light that always was and always will be. This breath is for me. As you breathe in from the universal field, the vibration of love, all vibrations are available in the field. We don't create or destroy energy, but we can invite it into our bodies with our breath. And as we know, spirit is Latin for breath. So we're connecting with our breath and our spirit as we breathe in love from the field into our hearts and allow that vibration of love to expand throughout our chest, down our arms, our shoulders, our neck, up through the top of our head. Imagine this vibration of love is moving down the body. All of the organs, the glands, the tissue, the bone receive this vibration of love. And as you breathe in this vibration of love, imagine you're sending the vibration of love from the top of your head, down the back of your neck, down the spine, one vertebrae at a time, filling the vertebrae with the vibration of love. The tissue around the vertebrae, the muscles, all that holds all the back intact. As you move down the spine, breathing in this vibration of love, you are igniting the essence of you within these cells. You are sending life force to the vital cells, the structure of the bone. The new bone cells that are coming, you're inviting them in with this vibration of love so that they can carry their work through the body as they build new bone. As bone dies, new bone is reborn. So this process of bringing love and light into the bones as you move down the spine, the upper back, the middle back, the lower back, Breathing this life force into the bone. As you open to receive this life force, and you move your focused intention now to the pelvic area and those large pelvic bones. And you breathe in this love into the bones of the pelvic area. And here, inviting the light, love, and energy of the earth from the core all the way through all the surfaces of the earth, up through the feet and up your legs into the pelvic area as you surround the pelvic area with the light, love, and energy of the earth. Sending this life force to the new cells here. With your focused intention, visualizing the strength of these bones, the strength of these large muscles are surrounding the bone that carry you. And with this light, love, and energy of the earth, send that vibration down the legs, filling those large bones in the thigh, as the knee and the shin and the ankle and the foot enlivening the bones and all of your legs, bringing the life force of love through the body. And then from the feet now, working your way all the way up to your heart as you invite the light, love, and energy of the heart, expanding your heart, opening your heart to receive more love that's available to you now. As you invite the light, love, and energy from the universe, 
the universal benevolent field through the crown of your head into your heart and feel the expansion of your heart center now with the universal love where we know you are all one, all one, connected to our ancestors, the health of our bones, so that our bones can carry us through this life journey so that we may be strong and stand up for who we are. Know our purpose in life. Through this life force connection within our bones. And I want you to imagine now that this beautiful life force is expanding beyond your body and filling the lovely egg-shaped energy field that contains this earth body with this light and love. As you become more light, more full of love, even the back of your neck and shoulders, allowing them to soften a little bit, knowing that in this moment in time, you are safe. And now I want you to imagine that you can send this wonderful life force from the center of your heart as you draw your hands together and move them slightly apart so you can feel energy moving between your hands. And in the center of this space between your hands, I want you to send that life, love, and energy from the earth and the universe and your heart center into this sphere of light. And as we're building this sphere of light, all of us together, we're magnifying the light and love and energy that we will send together for the world, for this planet that we chose to come for this life experience, to experience the beauty and the joy of Earth. That's why we came. We want more of that. So we're going to use our life force that we've built in this sphere of light, in this ball that we've created between our hands. And I want you to set the intention of sending light, love, and energy to the Earth for all the humans, the plants, the mountains, the seas, all of it. All of it matters. You matter. You matter. You're here. This time you're sending this light and love. Know that you are doing more than any other thing you can possibly do in this moment to heal the world. That you are a powerful being of light connected with this universal light. So on the count of three, I want us to raise our hands together and send this light to surround the earth with love. One, two, three, and release that vibration of love. And maybe you can even feel some lightness or joy in your heart as you release this to the world, knowing that you have done something powerful today that changes the world. This is how we change the world, one step at a time. The more of us that join together, the more powerful we will be. I believe there are more of us than one. There are more of us, more of us than those that hate. We have power. This is how we use our power, with intention and a heart full of love. So just let that settle in and come back and open your eyes and we'll be ready for our, our closing. But uh, hopefully... You all felt some of that love. Wow, Kathy, that was quite quite something. I'm like tingling, like every right. every every cell in my body is tingling here. That was that was quite incredible. Um, yeah, so that's something that we can do anytime. We do it for ourselves. We can always create that and bring it back when we need healing. We can send it to an individual. We can send it to a country. We can, you know, that's our power. That's our power. We we need to use it wisely. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is just from an individual perspective, taking it more into situation, stress has is so negative. And it's, I mean, they've actually done research on this showing that it, it increases the cells that break down bones and it reduces the bone building cells. And so 
this, you know, it just changes you from when you're, you know, fight and flight and you're in the sympathetic nervous system and just, you know, just something like that, five minutes or whatever, you can change your, change everything to the parasympathetic and really stop all those negative effects that can happen to us. So it's something that we have available. There's no extra equipment and no as cost. I, yeah. <laughs> And as I said, it's so powerful. Wow, that's just really great. One thing I wanted to mention that you taught me, actually, you probably don't even know you taught me this, but because you talk about grounding a lot in terms of your feet, and you taught me that it's really important to go deep. You want to explain why that we just don't want the surface of the earth? That was so interesting. I well, never realized that. surface of the earth holds the energy of man. And uh, man has, there's been famine, disease, war, death, burials. There's a lot in the crust of the earth that's held there. But the core of Mother Earth is pure earth energy. It's like the core of us is pure spirit and light. Always perfect, always whole, always complete. So the further we go into the core, I know you, you probably use essential oils and you're familiar with an essential oil. It's the essence of the plant that is distilled down. So a drop of essential oil is more powerful than the plant because it's distilled. Well, the core of the earth is the essential oil of the earth. It is the pure energy. It's the energy of earth's star. So the further we go, and these this idea that we have etheric roots these etheric roots, these invisible energies that we can imagine going down from our feet into the earth is very similar to the bone because the bones, they hold those minerals and vitamins. So these ethereal roots actually draw up the vibration of minerals and vitamins without the actual dense 3D matter of it. We can actually enhance our bones simply by bringing the earth energy up because it's the densest energy we have available to us for fuel. You know, we have light beings, we have God, we have the universe. That's intangible. It's hard for people to get their heads around, but people understand roots going into the earth like trees. I think that it's so dense. It's The bones are dense. The earth is dense. It lines up. So it makes perfect sense. Yeah. And it, feels, it makes perfect sense. But. And it feels so good when you you know, because sometimes, you know, your head's in a million places and you get, you know, life can be very disorganized and just to stop, go outside, really visualize. And as you always said, also, you don't have to be outside, just visualizing will still cause all those positive effects on your body. So yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's really great. So before we close, because we could talk forever, I want to yeah. share a couple of things with people. So I'm so excited because Kathy's going to do a class for my community and she's going to really share a lot more techniques on things we can do for our bones and ways to connect. And do you want to just say a few words about that? So in the class, I find that the, the, the most effective way is to do the exercises. You know, we can talk about concepts, but when you do an exercise and you actually experience what, how you feel different before and after those those exercises and how different you feel when you're grounded before you begin. So it's really going to be a lot of exercise and a lot of practice so that you can experience um, the difference. Because the bones are energy and the bones are alive, it's so funny. My, I had a family dinner Sunday and one of the, the young people said, well, are bones alive? And I hear the teenagers are, bones aren't alive. Bones aren't alive. And it's so funny. The bones are alive. So it will be how we enliven our bones in the class. So that the, we, our bones are alive. So I think yeah. it'll be fun too. Oh, I can't wait. So that's all just for everybody who's listening. That's going to be on November 14th at 12 o'clock noon on Eastern time, which would be nine o'clock in the morning Pacific time. So I'll have all the information in the show notes. But Kathy, tell people how they can work with you. What else is available? And tell them about your book too. The book is great. <laughs> Oh, I can see this light coming through here. Yeah, but I this love is my book, Unbecoming You. And I have this wonderful heart center in my, in my sunflower. And I wrote this book as a primer about spirituality and energy medicine. So there's a lot of information in there and case studies and a little spiritual memoir, a little bit about my journey. 
And I still have people, uh, clients that pick up the book and read it and they go back and back and back because there's, you can go back and reread it at different times. So um, a lot of practices in the back of the book as well. Uh, but you can reach me on my website, uh, kathyticket.com. And uh, you can book energy sessions online. My classes, I co-founded a Heart Tree Institute with another energy worker. And we're doing online classes on spiritual development. So there's a link to that on my my website as well. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one or group experiences with me, you can find me there. Yeah, I mean, it's so great because you used to have to go to the Berkshires to see you. Yeah. <laughs> and so... And so, yeah, I've had a lot of people who, who work with you, including myself. So if you feel like your energy, you know, you just need to sort of figure out where there might be some gaps or what might be going on, it's, it's, it's you know, really, really helpful. So I'm so gaps. Yeah, so that's so exciting. I can't wait for you to come to the class. And if you can't attend live, of course, there's always a replay for the class. So it's, um, yeah, I just think... You know, look, I do so much work with exercise. I'm a physical therapist, and it's all very important. But I've been working, yeah, you know, I mean, I've been a physical therapist for over 35 years, and I've been working with people with osteoporosis for over 25. And we can't minimize this piece. You know, a lot of people think they just, once you start including this and just working on the energy and connecting, plugging in, as we say, life really changes and not only your bones get better but everything gets better it's really a different quality of life it really is yeah it, it, it becomes an anchor as you said you have daily practices but when i don't what happens when i don't because there are times you get really busy and i'm not going to do my meditation or i do energy work every morning um not that it takes that long but when i don't oh my gosh it's just my day is not the same and I'm not naturally a relaxed person. So this is so important for me to stay in this energy. And, and just everything flows. It flows versus, you know, things happen and you're just stuck. So, yeah, really, really powerful. So anyway, yeah, is there any closing message that you want to share with everybody? Well, you know, I, I work with, I consider myself someone who works with souls and spirit and the physical body is the end result. So I always like for people to understand that they matter, that they're important, that we're all cosmic miracles of light and we're responsible for this earth journey and there is help and support in this realm and other realms. So we, we all matter. We're all important and just look forward to the class and hopefully meeting many people there. So thank you for just sharing all this wisdom with all of us. And I love the practice that we did today. And um, yeah, just thank you. And for everybody listening, you know, if this is foreign to you, just try it, see what resonates. And what else do you want to say to them? Anything? Just I would like to say, be curious. Yeah. If you come to the class, be curious just curious just be curious with no expectations and allow the experience to be the experience that's how we do it yeah i love that well thank you so much kathy and i'm oh, excited you. for you to come to the class and again your book's great everything's great it's a lot of resources and um yeah everybody let me know when you do start adopting some of these what happens so thank yes. you isn't yeah. that the fun part <laughs> it's really true. It's really true. So thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed my interview with Kathy as much as I did and have a better understanding of how we can connect to spirit and use this energy work to help our bones as well as our overall health. It is so powerful. And just try, listen again to that little practice that Kathy walked us through because I think it can really make a big difference in your life. But don't take my word, try it and see how it feels. And I'm really excited about the class Kathy's doing with my community on November 14th at 12 o'clock Eastern time. And if you can't come live, you can always get the replay. And even if it's beyond when you listen to this, if it's after that date, the replay is available. So all that information is in the show notes. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.